hey y'all welcome back to my channel today i am giving you guys a braidless crochet tutorial so let's get right into it i'm starting off by moisturizing my hair you guys live is my number one moisturizer i absolutely love it it just keeps my hair feeling so soft Now I'm just taking my wide tooth comb and combing my hair out just to make sure I didn't miss any tangles and then I am sealing off my hair with the Jamaican black castor oil. Now my hair is no longer super dry and has a little bit of bounce to it. Okay, so now I am going to start parting my hair. This took me forever to do. Not the whole thing, I'm just talking about the parts. The parts is what took forever. Everything else was pretty much a breeze. It was just the parts, y'all. It was the parts for me. Like, they did me in. So, um, I think it's because I was trying to just do them so perfect and even though they didn't end up as perfect as I wanted to be I did pretty okay but if you guys are like me the parts are going to take the longest time out of this whole tutorial So this part right here is optional, but I do highly recommend that you moisturize your rubber bands. Please do this so that way your hair does not break off. Now, of course, you're going to have that normal breakage, but if you want to save your edges, please moisturize your rubber bands. So now all I'm doing is just rubber banding my hair off. So I'm just sectioning and then placing a rubber band, then going to the next section, parting and then placing a rubber band. Please do not do what I did y'all. I wrapped that rubber band around too many times and it had my head hurting because I had to pull that crochet hair underneath that rubber band and it hurt so bad. So please just be careful when you're doing your rubber bands, make sure it is not too tight. And in case y'all wondering, the product that I'm using is the Cantu Edge Control. I forgot to like show, you know, what I was using, but I'm letting y'all know right now, it is the Cantu Edge Control. I love it because it, just makes the hair easy to handle it gets super duper stiff and me being a 4c girl i need my hair to be able to have product on it that will hold it okay so that can too definitely does a good job with holding so in a minute here you guys are going to see exactly what it is going to look like when i finish rubber banding my whole front section of my hair This is what it looked like when I finished the front half of my hair. So now I'm going to show you guys how I did the back. 
okay so i call this part right here a u part all i did was just kind of make the shape of a u going along the right side of my head down to the nape and then going across the nape to the left and then back up on the left hand side of my head I know that kind of sounds confusing but you guys will see exactly how I do it so all I'm doing is just twisting down and then across and then back up and then I'm gonna connect it in the front so yeah I know it sounds like a lot of information but I'm just going to show you guys in this video exactly how I do it Once I got down to the end of this twist at the front, all I did was take a rubber band to secure the end. And then all I did with the rest of my hair is just twist it going straight down. And I just connected that big piece of hair that I twisted down the front with one of the twists going down. So that's all there is to it. And now it's time to start crocheting. The hair that I am using is the expression twisted up. This is the wavy bum twist in the 12 inch. It comes with 20 strands in each pack and it took me just four packs to complete this look. You guys can purchase the same hair with the Amazon link down below. So all you do is just take a strand of the crochet hair and you pull it through underneath the rubber band and like I told y'all, I did the rubber bands too tight. Do not do what I did because you're going to be looking crazy the next day. Your head is going to be hurt, so don't do it. So all you do is just crochet underneath the rubber band and tighten it up and move on to the next section. And you're just going to do that all over your hair until you get done. So let me just say that I love this crochet hair y'all it just lasted me so long matter of fact I still have it because I plan on washing it and reusing it that's how good this hair is like it is just good crochet hair I don't know what they did to make it so good but I probably won't use any other kinky twist type of hair besides the expression hair because it is just bomb y'all it's just just good I don't know but I love 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 the hair the only thing is it was just kind of hard to pull the end through the loop but other than that I have nothing negative to say about this hair I love it and it's absolutely amazing And voila, this is the finished product. As you can see, it does make it 
look like it's individually done at the front nobody is going to be able to tell unless they like all up in your head surely nobody will do that to you but if they do they might see the strand of hair going back where you connected the rubber bands but anywho nobody should be all up on you like that unless it's like your best friend or your sister or something so yes i love the fact that it gives the illusion that they were individually done towards the front but it's really not so this is me just putting it like in a different style half up half down and i was really feeling myself y'all was proud of myself it did take me a while to do this style because of the rubber band parts like I told y'all. But other than that, it's really simple and easy to do. So if you guys do not know how to braid, please let me know if you use this method down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.